everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've been doing pretty good. It's been a little busy with packing. I'll be moving in a few weeks, so, you know, I've been packing and boxes all over the place. It's kind of getting hectic, but I'm so excited to finally get this video out to you guys. It was requested for me to show you how I season and cook fish. Really hope that this video helps you in some way. Okay, so the sticker ripped off on this one, but the first fish is going to be grouper and we got uh, close to a pound and it was $23.75 and that's for two people, my husband and I. You're going to need some kind of oil to cook with. You could definitely use olive oil, but I'm using sunflower oil in this video, but really just any kind of cooking oil. And then obviously your seasoning. And for grouper, uh, I use garlic lemon. I get this at Whole Foods, but you could definitely make your own or buy something similar to this. For grouper, the best taste is garlic and lemon on it. So you wanna get something similar to that. Before I start handling the fish at all, I always use these Playtex cooking gloves and it's just great to use to be extra sanitary while working with meat or fish or vegetables. Uh, of course, you could just wash your hands too, that doesn't matter too much, but it is good to be extra sanitary. And as you could see, I, I was rinsing the grouper off and putting it on a paper towel and now getting another paper towel and dabbing it dry. cooking my fish on the stovetop using like a skillet or a grilling pan but you can also broil your fish in the oven or cook it on the grill outside. You want to preheat your pan and that's what I'm doing here. It's, it, the temperature is on and I'm also adding the oil first so you basically want that to get hot before you put the fish on it. Now with my grouper, I'm going to start seasoning it and this is a two step part. Basically first you want to take your first spoon and put a little bit of oil, whatever oil you have, and uh, spread it around on the fish. Then with your clean spoon, you want to go in and grab the seasoning and just put a little bit on at a time, basically just sprinkling it on. Now your pan should be pretty hot by now. You're gonna keep it on the same temperature that you had it on, and you're gonna put the grouper in the middle, and as you can see, it already starts shrinking up a little bit from the heat. Basically, you want it to sit on the pan for and cook the one side, like halfway through. So I would say a good like three minutes before you turn it. A couple minutes went by and now I'm going to take my tong and tur gently turn it over. And now, since I didn't season this side yet, I'm going to um, season it with my uh, lemon garlic blend. And some of the oil is on this side because it was sitting in the pan. And for me, I just like to um, season one of the sides of the fish while it's on the pan. So you're gonna let it sit there for another few minutes uh, or maybe a little longer because you really wanna get the middle of the fish to cook. So having the lid on it really helps for this part. Now with my turner, I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm doing this to help it cook faster, but also um, I'm gonna eventually need two servings of it anyways, so for my husband and I. So I like to kind of cut it in half while it's halfway done cooking. And as you can see, the middle is still really pink, so it definitely needs to sit there longer and just let it, let it cook with that lid on. It's really hard with timing on fish. I, I never look at the clock. It's all about uh, visual, pretty much. You really have to keep looking and just use your judgment. So if I don't have exact times for you guys, I apologize. It's definitely 
definitely cooking more, but now's the time to just turn it one more time because as you can see, that side is getting really uh, cooked nice with a little bit of, you know, crisp to it, and that's what you want, and like a, a grilled kind of look. And now we kind of want to do that to the other side. About four minutes past now, and I want to take the lid off and use a fork and knife to kind of just look in the middle the best I can. You really want it to be all white and also flaky. So you want the fish to be kind of falling apart easily and flaky to the touch of the utensils. I could really tell that the middle is all the way cooked and it's looking good. So I just uh, put it on low for just a couple more minutes. Grouper is pretty much like a meaty, thick kind of fish, but it really does taste delicious and I think you guys would like it. For swordfish, we like to use this tequila lime blend, but like I said for the other one, you could definitely make your own something similar to this. Or I read on the internet that even like lemon and basil go really good on swordfish. should let it cook at least halfway on one side but uh, sometimes I tend to turn it pretty quick uh, could have cooked a little longer on that side but that's okay a couple minutes went by and as you can see it's starting to cook more but I want to definitely put that lid on it let it sit there with the lid on for maybe a good three minutes and I took the lid off and now I'm going to with a, a meat cutter I'm going to cut it in half three minutes just passed and now I'm going to cut it into pieces and the reason why I'm doing that is because I realize it's a thick piece of swordfish and I really wanted to get it all cooked all the way through and also to show you guys as you could see there it's still a little pink in the middle I wanted you guys to see that so you really just want to let it sit there for a little longer like maybe two more full minutes with the lid on just turning each piece over to kind of just brown it a little bit more equally on the other side but it's just really just to sit on the hot pan for maybe another minute because I end up just lowering the heat and letting it sit there but then it's done and I love swordfish I think you guys would really like this one as well We get the traditional Cajun blend from Whole Foods. I really do recommend a Cajun taste for snapper, but that is a little spicy, so you don't have to do that. You could also use like a garlic lemon seasoning. And now with snapper, usually there's black skin that is on one side of it, on the bottom of it but I asked the guy at Whole Foods to remove it for me. It just makes it a lot easier when they do it for you. But you could also remove it yourself. Now with this one, I do it a little differently. I put the side that's seasoned first on the pan, on the hot pan. And that's because with Snapper, uh, it falls apart a little easily, so I can't turn it as much. About a minute after I seasoned it, I put the lid on and I haven't turned it yet. I just want it to sit there with the lid on and really let it cook.
about two to three minutes just passed and now I'm gonna with my turner cut it in half to see what the middle looks like About three more minutes passed and now I'm going to gently just look in the middle and make sure it's flaking and make sure it's nice and white and so far so good it's looking good and yeah snapper is delicious it kind of reminds me of chicken like a, a fish that would remind me of chicken but it kind of has that uh, feel in your mouth when you're chewing it and the way it cooks and stuff and it kind of looks like chicken but it is really good. I highly suggest this fish as well. This was my first cooking video, so if it wasn't perfect, I apologize. It was a little hard to speed up the video, but also give you enough detail. And like I said, with fish, it's all about looking at it and using your judgment. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful. If you want me to show you how to cook any other kinds of fish, please leave them in the comment section below. Also like and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.